Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Welcome, 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 oh. welcome to yeah. Guilty Pleasures. Yeah. What's up? Welcome to yeah. Guilty Pleasures. Dial up 1-800-BIOTCH because today <laughs> we're talking about Amanda Bynes. She's the man. Oh, yeah. What's up, fam? How we feeling? Welcome. Ooh. Guys, this is like maybe... I'm a little nervous because this nervous. might yeah. be our most requested episode ever. Really? Wow. I think, yeah. I, I just before this, I put out on my on my IG, like asking for any burning yeah. questions, observations. People are losing their minds. Really? She's the man. 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 Is it, is it because it's a simple title and that's why you remember it so well? Mm. Or is it because it's one of your favorite movies? I think that it is... The people's favorite movie. I mean, this is a real deep nostalgia hit. Yeah. Mm. This, I mean, and this movie oozes early yeah. 2000s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. What did you say? <laughs> Sex. Sex. Uh, yeah, it I does. Feel oh, I feel no. my lacroix. You I'm made sh- me drop my lacroix. I've spilled <laughs> my lacroix. <laughs> <laughs> What's that South Park episode where they're like, like that, like that. Mamma mia, I spilled my lacroix. I just, okay, sorry. I said it oozes sex, but it also, it also oozes, oozes sex. Yeah, it oozes sex. This movie yeah. is horny. It is, yeah. is so, I got horny and I, I got <laughs> nervous. My parents were going to walk in on me watching it. It feels like an Amanda Bynes request. It's just like, mm. could half of the movie be with shirtless men mm. <laughs> around me? That would be nice. Listen, she was this our golden girl, you know. She, yeah, she was allowed to she do was and the say. One. Listen, the the way that I love Amanda Bynes, Ooh. it's almost on par with your love for Nicolas Cage. Really? In a weird way. Because I remember watching Amanda Bynes as a small boy yes. and being like, "This is what <laughs> comedy is." Oh my god, it's so crazy that people can you know just do this and all of that stuff and like. I I'm thought, also laughing because I thought he was going to say <laughs> Amanda Bynes when she was a young girl. And then he said young boy like in the movie. Confusing. And it was funny, but no. you're talking, you're about, talking yourself about yourself. I'm talking about boy. myself. Yeah. I'm right there with you. Yeah, with, like, yeah. with like all that. Her on all Amanda that. Show, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, for n- fucking comedy wannabe. Yeah, I thought she was going to be like the next Amy Poehler, yes. Tina Fey. Yes. Well, let's, okay, situation. so we've talked about Amanda Bynes on the show, Big Fat yes. Liar. Both oh, of y'all wasn't weren't there. able to be here that day. Yeah. I so, watched the wrong movie. I was there that day. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. watched the wrong movie. So spiritually, yes. you weren't there. Yes. <laughs> what do, you, do you remember what you liar, watched? Liar, liar. Oh, God. The wrong line movie. Yeah. So uh, I've gotten to speak on my love of Amanda Bynes before. Mm-hmm. I agree. She deeply yeah. impacted me when mm-hmm. I was a kid. Yeah. I, like, her on all that doing mm-hmm. Dear Amanda, mm-hmm. that's me. Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. great. She's absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. I think that her comedic timing is for a child yes. was just so ahead of its time mm-hmm. or ahead of her age mm-hmm. um, to where I was like, oh, this per- this person is perfect. All in all, child acting, yeah. the, the industry of child actors, yeah. it's a little nasty. It's a little weird. It's, weird. it's a little weird. And like it is child labor in a weird way. Yeah. And like we yeah. have laws to make sure that they're right. protected. And like I did some child acting as a kid. I don't know oh, if you guys know about yeah. me. So like Were I you the Oval Team kid? <laughs> no, he <laughs> no, was, I was actually the P- I was the Pils- Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh was, shit. So, yeah. Wait, are you serious? No. I don't oh, know. I was I, <laughs> said that was such a Yeah, such a inspiring. So no, I don't actually think it's fucked up. But yeah, it clearly impacts a lot of these people's lives. Yeah, but every now and then you get someone who comes along like yeah. her. I may have even made this same reference in Big Fat Lab, like her, Raven Simone. Like, mm. there's just yeah. some children Kenan. performers, Keenan yeah. and Kel. Well, there was a, there was a time when people were going after all of the child actors, everybody that kind of like Shia. went off or whatever. Shia, uh, Lindsay Lohan. Um, uh, Mary a, Kate a third, and Ashley, Mary Kate oh, and Ashley. Everybody was like, "Look at how crazy they were," and they would lump in Amanda Bynes with that, and I would like scream, "Don't you fucking talk about Amanda Bynes? <laughs> Leave her out of this, you know?" Because I, I think that she was great, a, a little bit more special. Yeah, and I feel like wow. we truly did lose a talent yeah. based off of this, you know, child mm-hmm. labor. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like and it, now she it makes lost, a like, lot of sense of what happened to her because of yeah how much like her brain was not fully developed back then no. and how much they worked and the very stress malleable. and like yes i think it made a lot of sense what happened to her but this movie in particular what i this was the first time i had watched it no yeah. fucking way oh my yeah God. you shut up yeah. i i don't know how i missed this because what? i was a soccer 
closeted bi- queer kid. Kelsey, can I yeah. tell you, I didn't even get a guess for this episode because I'm like, oh, this is a Kelsey movie for sure. I just what? assumed it was like part of, oh, uh, I don't know why. I, I don't know how I missed this because I like you worshipped the girl. I thought she was comedy like legend. Yeah. She was it for me. And when I turned this on, I was expecting like Amanda fucking Bynes. She opens up and she's in a triangle fucking string bikini. And I was like, what is that? And she's making out with boys. I was like, not prepared. This movie does not feel anything. Oh my God. To start like what Amanda was to me. You sound me. like you're about to cry. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I don't want to ruin this gorgeous eyeliner. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. But, I'm sorry. But then when she Kelsey's gets Kelsey's clutching into, her pearls seeing yeah. that they kissed in the movie. Like, you mean my chain, my gold boys? chain. Oh, you're But chain. then she becomes her brother and yeah. All the goof, the, the unafraid to right. be, you know, I'm making air quotes, ugly on camera right. comes out and you're like, that's, that's my damn, Amanda. That's the girl I know. Right. And then she pulls there you are, Peter. Sandra you know? Bullock and Miss Congeniality moments getting back into the tight dress. And I'm just like, she was so complex. <laughs> like we were not fucking prepared. Yeah, she's the man walk so Pen15 could run. In my wow, opinion. He says it. Go. He says opinion. what we're all thinking. Ooh, let me hit you with a quick synopsis. She's the man stars Amanda Vines and Channing Tatum. Oh we'll get to him. We'll get uh, Amanda wants to play soccer. They cut the team, and so she goes undercover as her brother Sebastian. What? <laughs> it's so fucking wild that they cut a whole women's I soccer said team. The same thing. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with this school? That was like, my they first have to be note. the so unrealistic. School. We cut the arts, yeah, not soccer. Not <laughs> the team, right? That drama team better not have a stage. <laughs> right? They're playing soccer and there's a lacrosse team in the background. Nobody fucking watches no one lacrosse. Cares about lacrosse. So Amanda, as Seb- I don't even know Amanda's real name. I forgot. Amanda, as Sebastian goes under Violet. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, nice. Violet goes undercover as Sebastian and has to fool all the boys. That guess what? She's a man. Ooh, she's the man. And she's then the she's man. got a, you know, there's a love triangle, quadrangle, and then she's going to win the soccer game. This is yeah. she's the man. Let's it was Viola. Viola. Damn. Not Violet. Violet. My Damn. bad. Damn. Fuck. I call her Violet. Uh, for all the uh, African Americans that- uh, <laughs> listening, this is Juana Man with soccer, <laughs> which is uh, yes, a hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, it's Tootsie. It's a lot. And actually yeah. it is Shakespeare. Uh, something oh. that made me laugh so hard is that in the opening credits, it says inspired by 12th night. What? Because wow. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is like, <laughs> yeah. like 10 things I hate about you. Like there's a lot right. of teen movies that are based on Shakespeare, right. but this is the only one that has oh. the audacity to call it out in the opening credits. And, and I'm that's like, what makes it not by transphobic. <laughs> that makes it not transphobic. Because I kept sitting with this because when, once I understood what it was about, yeah. I was shooketh. And even though I knew the title, I <laughs> Didn't predict what Shooketh was going to happen. Shooketh is, by the happen. way, how Shakespeare, the bard himself, <laughs> would have said, said it. <laughs> <laughs> Shooketh upon Shooketh. Yeah. knowledge. I was he also watching, jo- like, I don't know if we should be watching this right yes, now yes. <laughs> because but, of what's going on I, with the uh, Olympic team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so relevant to now's conversation. Right. But it's not so much toying with sexuality as it is gender bending when it was allowed to say cross-dressing like when we were when that was a thing that was not so polarizing and I remember thinking like I the whole time I felt this weird feeling of like oh god is this transphobic somehow but it didn't ever give me any like trans baiting or like totally homophobic like super super like you're gay bro that kind of energy but I think I think we're okay to discuss. Okay, th- so I'm. <laughs> we're starting here, and let's just go for it. It's remarkable because there's a lot to talk about with the the trans element of it. This movie is simultaneously the most homophobic and the gayest movie <laughs> I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> this movie is so <laughs> gay. Truly, and truly. This movie Very is gay. oozing with gay energy. Yeah. Truly. And I like. I don't know how something can be both. It's like the Schrodinger's cat of gayness <laughs> as a film. <laughs> It's remarkable. Yeah. I mean, the homophobia. Okay. So, so there is a lot of like 
like, bro, don't touch me. And like she and yeah. Channing Tatum almost kiss. And then and he's like, like and when she's dressed as a man and he's like, whoa, whoa bro, don't do yeah. that. So there's a lot of that. Yeah. But then also you're watching a movie about Channing Tatum yeah. slowly and falling, falling in, in love, love with, with his with it, male and roommate. And out that yeah. he's probably gay. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it's. Um, or bi at least. At or least bi. bi. Yeah. It's my guy from, my guy, I hate when I do this, but it's um a boy from Mulan where it's just uh, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> or he's like energy. he's like I'm in love with this man. I think I love men and then he takes she, Mulan takes her hair out and he's like Ooh, <laughs> I thought I was gay. I thought I, was, yeah, I thought I had to have a whole conversation <laughs> with, with myself. myself. Maybe oh. Channing's just sapo, sapiosexual and he just loves Bipedal humans. <laughs> so, <laughs> but do you know the reverse that you get of this? Of like, because as much as I was like, this is so homophobic, you are also getting the reverse of a woman infiltrating the boys' club and teaching them how to be more in touch with their in, feminine energies. In that. In that space, I was like, this is sexist as fuck. <laughs> I was like, I was watching it. I was like, man, I guess I don't know any men. Because I don't know anybody that acts like, like that. Like that. No, this was 2000. Where, like, yeah, I know it's like exaggerated toxic, and all of that stuff. And masculine. we're not, yeah, toxic masculine. And we're not really, you know, they're, they weren't really playing for subtlety. No. I think um, that's why the girls like and gays really love this movie, mm. right? Because yeah. it's just the performance of gender. The right. whole thing mm. yeah. is like Amanda as a boy, as right. Sebastian is like, I'm a, I'm a man, this bro. Is, this I'm is a do I, my bro thing. Yeah. And then the way that all the guy characters in the movie talk is such an yeah. over the top caricature of male culture. But like, good for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah the girls deserve parodies of. Of yeah. boys too. Yeah, yeah, they should. They they do deserve it, especially after Juwan with with the, it, its its whole thing. But I, I wrote this is the story of traditional masculinity being confronted by the discovery that sexuality is a spectrum. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which is, I wish they would have played that that out a little bit more in this, but I mean, they don't have the breath to. No, if that makes not, sense. No. like not in two thousand. No fucking Nobody's way. really trying to I have that conversation. I would also watch a remake of I this. feel like at the end, when, spoiler alert, Channing and Amanda get together, yeah. uh, he should have been like, and maybe sometimes you, you can, could put you the wig back on. Yes, yeah, exactly. Because, <laughs> like, I was kind of doing it for yeah. me. Like, uh, both. I, okay, I'm real. So we just, you know, behind the scenes, if you wonder how this show was made, we assigned the movie and then we watch it and we come in. So yeah. there was very little time between us watching and coming. And I'm like, oh, maybe we should have I had came. some. Don't you say you came watching <laughs> this. Uh, I was like, oh, maybe we should have someone better to speak on this. But I did wonder watching this if this was a profound experience for for young trans kids watching this movie. Mm -hmm. oh, because yeah. the whole movie mm -hmm. is, you know, you said it was potentially transphobic. The whole movie is about the performance of gender, right? right. Mm -hmm. And so if you are one person but feel you're another and then you're going through the process mm -hmm. of like trying to fit in and understanding mm -hmm. what your body is, I, I just... That was the thought that occurred to me. And if you're watching, if you're if you were trans kid who watches the movie, I'd love to know. Yeah. yeah. I'd be very interested to hear. Yeah. You're right. It, it really was more about gender expression than sexuality expression. Yeah. There was like d dip in the toe in it, but it was, you know, it was it was a hot take on masculinity. Yeah, but I feel like this movie <laughs> what is deep what for, <laughs> right out the gate. I feel like this movie is what every trans kid's parents think mm. that they're doing uh -huh. rather than what it actually feels right. like, you right. know, where it's just like, I'm trapped in this body. I want to, you know, fully express right. myself. Whereas their parents will look at, the, at them and just like, you'll grow out of it. You, you You're put, just a Tom. It was a choice for Amanda. But, uh, what's Viola? I'm going to call her Violet. It was a <laughs> choice for Violet to be switching back and forth between yeah. and that felt comfortable. And hey, that's also something kind of beautiful on its own too. Like playing with the binary. I don't mind it either. She rocked both. Do you think if Ted Cruz watched this movie, his head would explode? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I think Ted Cruz watches this movie all, all of the, the time. time. Pretends like he doesn't. And he pretends that he it. doesn't. Yeah. And he's just like, man, this is this is what they're doing to Americans. But I have a question. Do you guys think she looked like her brother? I think she did. I When really? I saw it, I was like, oh, they're, when the movie started, I was like, oh, they're probably going to do the switch thing or, or whatever. Well, not the switch thing, the mirrored yeah. thing where she's playing both roles and then she jumps out the window or whatever. But then when I saw her brother, when I saw Sebastian, the guy playing, I was like, is this her actual brother? Because 
she looks like him. He's like a foot taller than her. That's fine, but <laughs> they look alike. You think? They have the same circular face. Mm. They found a, a very doughy boy. Yeah. yeah. I feel like she looks she also, like a pre-pubescent uh, pre -pre -pubes -pubes boy. boy. Cherub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I could picture her as Sebastian in a little, as a little angel in a Renaissance painting yeah. about mm. to shoot an arrow. Mm. And, and this is me coming from watching this in 2022 and not in 2000 mm. when it was originally mm. created or whenever it was. But if any man saw a small boy come into their school, <laughs> they would be like, come on over here, little Aww, bit. <laughs> come on over here, little guy. Nookie. Get on in, you get on cutie. in. Yeah. You little cutie, you little cutie pie. Not like this little fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here, little bitch. And then after- Hey, little fella, you lost? Yeah. <laughs> right, and then after, when during that whole scene in the, the pizza shop where he's, where Viola, is having a bunch of different like girls come up yeah. to her and like be like or him uh and be like oh best sex of my best life best sex of my life all this stuff it was a great scene yeah it yeah. was it was really funny but uh, me again an upperclassman looking at this and be like buddy what are you doing man you yeah. don't have to show out for us bro come on over come yeah. on sit down just have let's just have this conversation you know and you, you, why are you doing this what do you really feel? Yeah. You know, how do you really feel about us as people? They weren't that evolved back then. Yeah. Like, I, I think too, like if it, because is it, is it evolved or is it observant? Because Both. I they don't feel have like the energy and, for that, and, that young. Yeah, and me and Sequoia talk about this all the time, but it's just like I don't think, especially during that time, that men and women were seeing each other as people. No, they were just seeing each other as Pussy. the gender. <laughs> yeah, or. <laughs> Or as you their just, genitalia. You just took all the nuance I, out of it. I mean, there was the line, check out the booty on that hottie. Wow. Yeah. This is a filthy movie. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. There was no there was no booty. There was not a booty. There was not, not, a, not, a, not a booty at all. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You know, people don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, even digestive issues. Yeah, digestive issues can be an indicator of stress. Stress shows up in all kinds of ways, and in a world that's telling you to do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, not your teeth, your, your attitude, uh, you know. Here's your reminder to take care of yourself and maybe try some therapy, like BetterHelp. I've been using BetterHelp, you know, I, I do my weekly and phone video sessions, but sometimes I just have something on my mind, I'll send my therapist a text, I get really quick feedback, and it's it's just great to have, feel like I have someone in my corner. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. Give it a try. See if online therapy can help lower your stress. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Guilty Pleasures listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash guilty pleasures. Oh, and then followed by, in man's words, it's time to pounce. These mm. boys were fucking horned up. You yeah. know, here's yeah. a... Okay, so I loved this movie. I have a big old guilt, though. Oh, oh I have one that that deeply upset me. I was watching it here in the office. My, my co-worker saw me screaming. The amount of open mouth kissing in this film mm. is simply unacceptable. Amanda yeah. Bynes is a bad kisser. There, she is... She uh, 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 it's a lot of... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, it no but she's, opening she's, credits. She's yeah. taught. She was probably taught to over... Camera over exaggerate her By movements who? and all that stuff. Nickelodeon, what creepy ass adult man? Well, the, 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 the guy that likes feet. Amanda Wait, Baby. You I'm are a, a professional I, television kisser. I forgot this. Oh yeah, I've heard and just debunk all the rumors. Garrick makes out a lot in single dark right. it's, not, it's, not that it's much. so it's not that much. weird seeing Garrick not that much. kissing Garrick it's not. plunges his tongue I into his not, co-worker did they, do they direct you on the kiss because I hear nice. that it's supposed to be slower than you think and you're not supposed to use tongue um well then I'll tell you Amanda was doing it wrong yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're supposed to cheat to camera um, and they don't direct really that much. So they're not like, hey, close your mouth less. It looks fucking weird. They will. They, they will. They, I think they, that's how she kisses. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. They started <laughs> off that. with that. And I think it is dictated by uh, how it looks on camera. When yeah. you're yeah. as good a kisser as Garrick, you don't need direct. And <laughs> that's. 
where <laughs> you're not wrong. Anyway, <laughs> no, I was bad at it. I was bad at it. No, it, was really it looked, I was very yeah, observant. I had to be directed. Because obviously I had to make fun of you. <laughs> I had needed material. It did not strike me as any weird things happening. Was it different than kissing? Like, yes. Oh, so how? It felt more like a handshake yeah. than anything. With the mouth. Right. Right, right, right. Because you do, you do so many takes of it and it's just like, you kind of zap out the intimacy. Do you, you ever kiss someone and you can like feel their heart beating through their chest? You're like, oh, bitch, this bitch is as nervous as I am. Like, thank God. Yeah. Did you, could you, where's your chest beating? Yeah. Oh, you were nervous? Yeah, because I was like. This is your this first is, on camera is, it's, it's almost as, as, as crazy as eating on camera for the first time yeah. <laughs> where you're just like i've never seen myself do this shit mm. so i don't know how to actually create the moment that i've been doing my entire life sure. so Yo, you've been like, kissing your whole life yeah you fucking, fucking dirty bragging. dog I started off at one bro so what cool. can i say <laughs> just a man whore what can i say fucking was a baby kissing babies fucking baby kissing right. babies i was like get on all over right. here Leave girl the i got dim goo goo gaga let's Google. fucking all right. All right. Leave uh, the there's out. so much I'm kissing in this movie yeah. i hated it yeah it mm -hmm. was gross yeah she tongues hard yeah. in the opening credits mm -hmm. okay that's bad then then there's the kissing booth scene which is like that kissing a booth is an uh, just absolute insane idea did in we general. do the booth? kissing booth as I mean, a, that's as a movie? movie? Yes, we watched that movie. Did yeah, we yeah, talk yeah. about just how fucking chaotic that yeah, is? Yeah, everybody Gross. should have mono. Yeah. Yeah. And also, in the line for the kissing booth, uh, I'm going to continue to talk about how gross her kissing is, but we're going to take a moment no, for the kissing booth. No, you could be dead. <laughs> <laughs> the kissing booth in the line. So this is, they are high schoolers. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the line for the kissing booth. Oh my God, a, they're absolutely is a not 70 a year old, no. 70 year old man no. and a seven year old child. Yes. Yeah. Both, and they are paying. What's the range? What's the range? What for is, sexual favor. Isn't that prostitution where when you're getting we? paid? Bills for charity. Yeah. Oh, so it's even worse. <laughs> you don't get to keep any of it. UNICEF yeah. has taken that. Yeah, that was Ooh. deeply weird. Where are we in the U.S.? Because there are different laws as far as... As kissing booths? As kissing North booths Carolina. Are. North Carolina. The blue. It's yeah. probably like... Age of consent is probably like 14. Yeah, they were like, ah, or yeah, you're my cousin. I'm from Florida. I can say these things. It was a horny movie, which is why it shocked me for Amanda Bynes, because I saw her as like the wholesome, giggly girl. I was never expecting to see her cleavage. Even Eunice the nerd and Trix fucking open mouth kissed at the end. Yeah, I like that. Everybody was tonguing. I mm. like that one. Can we talk about Channing Tatum? Yeah. yeah. I did not I, know he was in this movie. Uh -huh. Not only was he in this movie, this was his breakout. Yeah. It was? This was his, I mean, yeah. yeah, this was his first big boy role. Okay, because what does this say? It, this is before Step Up. What, it made me so. What does that say? Baby abs Channing. <laughs> man was so tiny in this yeah. film it was crazy i thought he was gonna be like a naturally huge person yeah no he's small. he put on a lot of weight he's 10 he's ch channing how, how at his tiniest he? is still bigger than i will ever be yeah. how no. how old was he in this movie i have no idea oh sure. he was um what's the word because jared's it too when they're lean lean like the yeah, twiggish, but like they, he, he, he really was a teen. Like that was a body yeah. of a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like yeah. a hot teenager. Right? Yeah. You Maybe. know, he's from Tampa and he went to my rival high school, mm -hmm. Jesuit, and he danced at the gay clubs in Ybor City that we always used to sneak into. That's very cool. Wait, but he literally, you just described the plot of this movie. <laughs> he, is, he was. He was at the rival high school and yes. some gay shit happened. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's the man. But was man. it gay if you're doing it for the thing you love and the there hobby? You, there you there go. There it is. Yeah. It would have been a, a great movie if he broke up with her after she found out. He yes. Found out she and then we the second, the sequel is him finding himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Channing Tatum used to infuriate me because I'm like, really? why? You're so beautiful huh. and you are one of the funniest comedic gifted comedic actors on the planet and now i've just mm. fully accepted it he is so funny yeah yeah and it's just insane to me it's how like i think pound for pound he can hold his own uh -huh. with any of our <laughs> any of the great comedic actors oh out yeah there. uh same with john cena in my opinion yeah Oh, um, but uh, I mix them up. You a know lot. why? Anyway. Though? <laughs> it's kind of because they both kind of, if you really look at it, Don't say have it. goofy looking faces. Okay. Well, what? It's their bodies that the girls are like, oh my God, it's so fucking hot. If you really look at both of their faces, they're kind of unique. You're, 
I'm sorry. You're going to look me in the eyes yes. and tell me that Channing Stockard Tatum. Is that Stockard? His name? I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> you just came up with that it name. It sounds right. I yeah. think I've heard it. Does it does sound right. It does sound right. Channing the Taint Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to look me in the eyes and tell me that Channing Tatum is not a gorgeous man? Doesn't he kind of have the face of like an MMA fighter? He does. Right? In like, But like uh, an, an adorable one. I don't know. He's got a Tampa ass face to me. What the fuck is the fucking this? So maybe you're just so used to that face or that yeah, type of like face. Like a military that kid. That you're over. Yeah, like a buzz white cut. White boy. Yeah. I know for Big a ears. fact. He's a that this man. film was a sexual awakening for mm. many of our listeners mm. and that Channing Tatum helped bloom the flower of their young budding sexuality. Yeah. Oh, right. And I, I do love that sense of it in itself because it's just like, which one did you like? Did you like Channing Tatum or did you like Amanda Bynes at playing a boy? Because <laughs> that you tells a lot about it who says you. a lot about yeah. who you are. Both. Is that an answer? Or, I mean, there is the spectrum of, did you like Amanda Bynes? Amanda Vines is a boy or Channing Tatum. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, 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 please. Um, there was a, so there's this scene uh, in the, in the workout room. They're doing the exercise stuff. Yeah. I, I don't, gym, <laughs> the gym. Jesus, Zach's <laughs> never been in one. He's like, you know, the things you do with the ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put the metal on the clankety clank. And uh, <laughs> his comedic timing in that scene is so fucking good. The yeah. way he answers the phone. So he's flirting with Olivia. S mm who is, is his dream girl. Mm -hmm. Olivia's trying to make Sebastian jealous. It's a real love triangle, yeah. real messy stuff. Mm -hmm. And he is so flustered by Olivia that he goes to lean mm -hmm. on the workout machine, mm -hmm. misses, smacks his head mm -hmm. into the weights. Mm -hmm. I don't, again, I don't know what machines are called. <laughs> <laughs> weights, yeah, you it's, sure. It is really good physical comedy. Yeah. Like, he can play he's really goofy gifted. really yeah. well. And his face is not goofy. Bit, <sighs> I'm going to text my group chain. You okay, guys go keep going. It. Is it the group chain that I'm on? No. Uh -oh. It's my all, it's it my Tampa's? cooter club. It's all women. Cooter club? Yeah. So I'm going to I mean, our group club. chain that I... Uh, add, add me to that real uh, quick. No. Add me to that real <laughs> Absolutely quick. The group not. thread that you and I are on is called Cutie Coochies. So. Yeah, but no, this is Cooter Club. What the fuck? Where are these group chats? You guys have group chats without me? You we also, have a group chat? We have a group chat. Me, me, Garrick, uh, Kelsey, and Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of different variations of group threads. I know. And it's very conflicting about like which things I drop which into which chat. And just so you guys know, you often are the winners. But then I don't get responses all the time because you guys work big boy jobs. Uh, I will say, so we um, had we had Gudagate, Kelsey. What's that? You, oh, with, yes. Can, yes. You, can you explain? So Lauren Rihamaki, friend and friend. Friend of Lord the DIY. pod. Friend, friend, and, friend and foe. I was going to say friend and fan of the pod. I don't know if she is. She yeah. might hate this podcast. She, she probably doesn't listen. <laughs> probably not. She's busy. Yeah, she's busy. Uh, she barely fucking, this is one of her favorites next to uh, Pitch Perfect. Yeah, she was going to join and couldn't And today. so a couple days ago, we were talking. Why? How did we We were talking about your orgies. Oh, we were talking about my orgy. Uh, so Kelsey occasionally will go to orgies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, that's not me adding anything, no, right? No, I talk okay. about it all the time. Cool. And uh, I... Do you I wear was, masks and shit? Uh, before COVID, no. Uh, when it was a masquerade theme, yes. Okay, that's what I meant. During, uh, there was no during COVID, and even though we are still in COVID, the most recent one started in whenever last time I went, so February, and you have to get tested within 12 hours of the We're event. a little sidetracked here. And, about, do you want to know the or, rules of the orgy in Hollywood or not? <laughs> So you have to be, it's very, you have to be vaccinated, boosted, and 12 hours. Yeah, this is party. the stuff my mom warned you about. about not <laughs> like, she was like, don't, don't do that active stuff. Don't, don't even try it because they're going to be trying to fuck you at all times. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, That's, uh, that makes me feel great. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you should. I do know. You're doing it. People aren't just like, hey, I'd like to fuck you ever. Except for when you go to these. It's nice for the confidence boost, you know? Okay. So I was saying, like, I what I wouldn't <laughs> give to be a fly on the wall. And then I said, let me take that back. I don't want to watch the fucking. No. I want to. I, so I, I want to go in. But I want to go and I want. Yeah. I want to go in and take a tally <laughs> just for a confidence of, like, how many times I've, I've been asked. Or oh, interesting. Yeah. What? Yeah. 
Because I want to know. Okay, well, we should go together. I just want to, yeah. I want to listen to the introductions. Oh, yeah. I mm. joked that I would, so so in the group thread, we said me, Maggie, and Lauren would sit on the couch, mm-hmm. arms linked, and just go, ah, anytime <laughs> someone tries to say hi to us. But I want to watch it and see it. Yeah. And then we were joking with what our pickup lines would be like, so, do you like to sex? This is a very long story, <laughs> but I promise it'll get there. And then Lauren chimes in the group set thread, what kind of cheese do you like? And she got radio silence yeah. and then scolded us for a full hour yes. that that is an iconic line from this movie. Yep. She's the man. Oh. How Which... did we not know the Gouda? And let me tell you, when I posted on my Instagram, I would say every third comment really? is about Gouda. Y'all are Gouda crazy. I don't know <laughs> if it's that iconic of a line compared to some of the stuff you get. It's To yeah. me, it wasn't that funny, but then at the end, she gives him Gouda, so I guess that's why it like really... It's just like a nice little callback. Sure. So far, I've got... There's some good lines in it. Let's go. When I asked um, yeah, about- there are. I, I do want to go back to the fact that Channing Tatum might be a comedic genius because it, 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 it's... You see a little bit of why he was so good in 21 Jump Street yep. and 22 Jump Street. Yeah. And 22 Jump Street had probably one of my favorite uh, comedic moments where he finds out that um, Jonah Hill was fucking the captain's daughter. Yes. And yes. where it like kind of dawns when on him and it takes like it's like a, like 30 seconds. Yep. And he's like, wait, and he's putting two and two together. And oh yeah, fuck and yeah. he just jumps up and like starts going all, all around it's just so funny and i think that that takes such precise timing and then he just kind of loses his mind for a good 20 minutes until the captain puts a gun on his desk and it's super funny i got you have your you have your response? i have three yeah. answers so far in my group chat of this is, is, yeah. is channing tatum hot is channing tatum's face attractive okay i got no what? then i got too meaty too meaty then i got Eh, hottest guy in your high school hot. Mm. Wow. Then I got, I think it's classically good looking face. I prefer them darker, but deaf attractive. <laughs> then, but not like drop dead smoke show, no. So there you go. Also, I feel awful talking about someone's face, but I feel like you could say the same about me too. You know, like my body is pretty great, but my face interchangeable. Huh. Not, not the most unique, <laughs> you know? I remind people a lot of people they already know. Mm. I get that all the time. I was kind of you look just like my cousin. I was kind of just trying to not chime in to see how long you would keep going. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I host a podcast, Zach. I could keep going for the rest of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> this movie has soccer, Ooh. and it doesn't just have soccer. Did it's it got has- Ted Lasso. And, uh, what's did up? you play soccer? I did not. I wish I did. You strike me as a soccer boy. Are I was you- twelve years. Twelve years. The fuck is that? No, I'm kidding. That was my. Um, my <laughs> you don't. Well. Yeah. This film has what I may call the greatest sports scene since Twilight Baseball. Oh. Let's oh, fucking God. go. We've got a soccer dream scene yep. where oh. Viola is having this intense uh, uh, nightmare about this very gloomy lit soccer match but the way that they film soccer in that scene it's like vampires are yeah. playing you yeah. get bone crunching hits yeah you get smacked people are flying through Bruises. the air it's like yeah. if Zack snyder shot a soccer <laughs> yes scene. yes the bloom was on it and all that stuff it's the oversaturation blue. what really made me laugh is that so it was clearly a blown out sky which mm-hmm. in film talk means that it's all white that there's no data in there Too bright. and they wanted it to be gloomy so they put a, a like a grayish filter over the sky mm-hmm. and the soccer ball bounces <laughs> through the color correction and oh, so you see no. the ball getting du- like like there's a, a hard line of a soccer ball getting darker as it's bouncing oh god through the i frame. didn't even realize that yeah technical whoopsie it oh, was damn. fun i liked the the soccer shown it wasn't a lot and mm-hmm. it wasn't very intense the right amount it was you get one what's it called when you the can opener kick you get one can opener where she kicks oh, it oh, over the, her own head. Uh, the, oh, the, the thing you go the bend it like Beckham. No, yeah. you go around the the 
Miles, what's it called when you kick and you go around yes, your body? Yes, ask the other most athletic person <laughs> here. No. no, it's uh, where you kick it behind you and it goes you over. You gotta your like head. flip your thing. No, you like flip your leg. Oh, up. a bicycle kick. Bicycle yes. kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get one bicycle kick and we get like three headers. Did you notice the? Okay, so the end actually has some good soccer. Yeah. Mm. Uh, at the end, when they're 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 tied and they want to go for the win, and Channing Tatum goes to throw the ball in, but he doesn't just do an inbound pass. He does a full flip. Oh yeah. A full flip throw where oh, he. Yeah. Uh, handstands yeah. on uh -huh. the soccer ball, flips around, and then throws. We it. had a girl that Baller. could do that in, on our soccer team, and we also had a girl that would come run from defense all the way to where every we were on the field because she could throw this fucking ball halfway across the field. Wow, it was absolutely insane. And then we had one girl, nickname was Stump. She would do all the corner kicks because she had the strongest thighs, hence Stump. Stump. Mm -hmm. Um. And I was midfield because I was a little runny thing, little little <laughs> runny thing. And I'll never forget the most embarrassing thing in my entire life was once when Stump Lauren threw the ball in, Stump did a corner kick, and it was the most beautiful sail, just absolutely perfect sail right in front of the goal where I was. And I remember time slowed down. I was like, this is my fucking moment. My dad's in the stands. My sister's here. Everyone's going to watch me score this goal. And I ran up and I closed my eyes and I whiffed it oh, like Charlie fucking no, Brown and landed on no. my fucking back and the oh whole crowd God. just went, oh, and I just whoop, went all the way upside down. And then I got really into drugs and stopped playing sports. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Because <laughs> that that you've been your, chasing that high yeah, that you missed. That's it. Whoa. That dude. moment is your drug origin story. It makes <laughs> so much sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was bad. I yeah. would also... Yeah, I would. Yeah, wow. Shout okay. out to Newsomar fucking rivals. Yeah, I would do a handful of mushrooms after doing that. After yeah. that happened to me, I would just say I want to disappear to a, a another plane of existence. I just realized yeah. if I'm not gonna be a fucking collegiate athlete, what am I doing, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm ruining my knees for who? Mm -hmm. For who? For who? I could be selling drugs <laughs> and making money <laughs> for drugs. and buying G baby watches. Hey, so man. I did that instead. <laughs> How did you become from eating fucking Jersey? Just G now? baby. I don't know. In Florida, we got we're nasty down there a little Forgot bit. Forgot about G baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to wrap up the soccer, the climax of this movie is pretty dope. Yeah, uh, you got Vi Viola against her big bad ex mm. for a penalty shot. Mm. She goes. Justin, to, she goes course. to kick. He reflects it. It goes onto Channing Tatum's head. He heads, heads it, it to Viola, who bicycle kicks it in for the score. They win. Woo! When I tell Absolutely you that that insane. moment was like when Cap used his shield to <laughs> deflect Iron mm -hmm. Man, that mm -hmm. shit was tight. Yeah. yeah. That, and the, the game was a big deal. They had a big old stadium. They had a whole college out to see this. What soccer Was it like nationals games? or whatever? No, it was one school versus the other. It was their first game of the season. It was like 12 weeks later. When oh. you actually look at it like that, it's like, I think Amanda Bynes went to a public school and this was very clearly a private school that yeah. had a lot more money. Amanda I Bynes' first school. I thought she was in high school and he was in college. No, it was a boarding school. Boring. What? Yeah. Yeah. So I think they're the villains. So anytime a you go to a boarding school, anytime you're a rich boarding school, thing? you're the villain. Yeah, you are. But that doesn't make even that makes even less sense that there was a boarding school with that many people out to see the soccer game. It was a big deal. And do they do co-ed boarding schools? Uh, yeah. I you're, went to you're asking school my questions whole life. that aren't meant to be answered. Okay, sorry, asking too many questions. David Just enjoy Cross the movie. is in this movie. Oh yeah. fuck yes. <laughs> The fact that he showed his beautiful face on this movie. Which character was he? Are you kidding? The fucking you know headmaster. The principal. Oh, he's great. I don't remember names. <laughs> Carry on. If you're going to have a goofy, clueless headmaster, there's no one better in yeah. the universe yeah. you could cast than David Cross. And David Cross, during this time, is saying the most foul shit on, uh, as a stand-up. And <laughs> to, to see that and be like, you know what? You'd be mm. great as a child's headmaster. <laughs> is truly phenomenal and speaks to his comedic Has he talent. Played that same role many times because <laughs> as soon certain, as yeah. I saw him, I was like, "Wait, that guy's always that yeah. guy." Yeah, Arrested Development. Um, mm -hmm. Tobias Funke. Tobias Funke. You are wow. We got some talking to do. Yeah. I did. I ever tell you about the story when Quinta told me the re she knew she like she didn't know why she didn't like me when we first met, but then I once admitted that I never watched The Office, and she goes. <laughs> 
that's why I didn't like you. Like, ah, that's my, hilarious. You never watched The Office. And I was like, ah, add that to the list of don't admit that out loud to people. Yeah, don't. Along if, with Arrested Development. If you don't you know. You should watch Arrested Development. You should watch Arrested I've Development. Read the, I've read a lot of the scripts randomly. Oh, it doesn't anyway, matter. That does not the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, not the same. He yeah. is one of, Dave also Cross is one of the great comedic mm -hmm. actors. He mm -hmm. came from, if you don't know, Bob Odenkirk, who Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, Started nobody. in Mr. and nobody Don't started as a comedy duo in Mr. Show with David Cross. Uh, David Cross just graces every moment of this movie is clearly ad libbing up and down. I wrote down my favorite is after uh, Sebastian's. Well, I'll we'll talk about this in a second. He said he showed his <laughs> Willis yeah. and Doodleberries, <laughs> <laughs> which is what a perfect line. Yeah. Uh, this movie ends with a man, a, a, a high school child showing his dick to everyone. And, and then Amanda <laughs> Bynes flashing her boobs to an entire school. Yeah. I wrote that down as one of my pain points of just, all right, so we're going to allow the guy to do it. And then we're going to shame the woman for doing it. We need a little bit do of Do they like, shame her? They're like, oh, they're like horrified. But when the guy does it, they're like, my, my. And the dad's like, my <laughs> son just showed his cock to no, a bunch he of goes, fucking kids. That's Maybe the my kid, boy. Yeah, Maybe the kid's infer, got a good dick. They infer that Sebastian Maybe he's has got a, a tremendous nice looking, dick. Maybe, Maybe he's got a nice looking they, dick. The movie makes us believe that Sebastian's dick is just exquisite. Except for <laughs> Dr. Cross, who goes, nothing to see here. No offense. Yeah, maybe she's just a little flat just a I don't know. I just I wasn't I wasn't here for the big dick energy and then the little boob energy. Okay, I, okay. I didn't read it as little boob energy. I read it as oh my god, boob energy. Oh, um, they were like wowza wowza hubba you mean hubba. Those aged boys have I, not seen titties in their life. I, I yeah, actually, I totally read that scene totally differently. I thought that they were like well, enamored they, with the boobs. They couldn't talk to fucking any girl ever, so yeah. that makes sense. This movie I paints Amanda Bynes as like the hottest. Vixen to she ever is walk pretty. The earth. She, I'm gonna, she's oh, I very did. cute. Yeah. I I really liked if we can pivot to <laughs> off the, the dick. Yeah, off the dick. Pivot off the dick. No, into, let's talk about that dick some more. Let's talk about that dick. <laughs> um the girls in this movie mm. that are the the triangle, if you will. I thought was so beautifully done, like in the bathroom, like the cattiness and oh the my fight God. scenes between them. So you have them. Olivia. You have Olivia who likes Channing Tatum. No, no, who likes Amanda Bynes as? So Channing Tatum likes Sebastian. Olivia, but Olivia likes Amanda Bynes as Sebastian. And then, uh, and then Amanda Bynes. That's likes a sexual awakening for Olivia as well. Exactly. Yeah, she, she realizes she buy too. Exactly. That's and crazy. And then Amanda Bynes likes Channing Tatum, and then. Sebastian's ex-girlfriend. The real Sebastian. Also likes Amanda Bynes. So there's like a lot happening there where yeah. they played it very well. And dare I say it, Shakespearean. <laughs> wow. It was it was Shakespearean. It was a lot of story to keep up with. Yeah. And I thought they did a really good job. The fight scene in the bathroom is like actually a well choreographed fight. Yeah. It's like totally solid. You yeah. have them like tripping each other and mixing up and like. It looked brutal. Yeah. No, it was petty, but no one fucked with each other's face. Notice that. I feel mm. like they girls don't go for the face. Deeply bruised. No, you go for the hair. You can scratch, claw, no face. You know what that scene I feel was? like girls go for the face all the time. All the World Star videos I've okay, watched. Okay, World Star is like the max <laughs> of the max <laughs> yeah. of it all. But, okay. And like we know. Hmm. That we scene know. in the bathroom was the Caddy and or Cassie and Maddie fight that I feel like we were deprived. We should have That's had. what I yes. wanted. The fact that that never was shown is oof. I... So I get to see everybody's titties, but I can't see y'all fight. Come on, bro. that's that's just weirdly. Why didn't they do more? Because um, they were too close of friends. They wouldn't have really beat the shit out of. Would you beat the shit out of your best friend? But you'd smack a bitch. You wouldn't beat the shit out of your best friend. Yeah, I would. You would? Yeah. I wouldn't beat the I, fucking shit. This is this shit is terrible news for me. I, <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I was banking on knowing that I would never get. Uh, no, it is what that it I is, could man. say anything. It oh depends boy. on what would you do. Would you beat the shit out of your best friend? Uh, what did what did they do? They fucked your boyfriend, a girlfriend. <laughs> if my best friend <laughs> fucked Maggie, <laughs> I yeah, I mean, I would have a lot of strong emotions. Yeah. I would I would probably have to go train before I could beat the shit out of him. Oh. I think that you would do like the Riddler situation and throw your entire body. Yeah. At him. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I feel like I would smack. I would smack. No, you gotta fight. I wouldn't life alter fight. 
But that wasn't like a life altering thing. That's Her what I'm nose saying. Nose was just bleeding. I, that's what I'm saying. They they couldn't do the the full dra- drag out, blown out fight because they were they were sisters. How did we get to euphoria? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> On she's the man because that's like the 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 tier uh, of uh, mm-hmm. of high school things. I'm, I'm now. curious if you clocked this, Garrick. Uh, of top, so we have this montage of Amanda. Uh, learning to be a man. She gets a makeover first yeah. from uh, one of our commenters, uh, the hairdresser, Amanda's gay hairdresser, who she said looked like a sugar-free Jude Law. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Why is that so offensive? <laughs> I thought you were going to say a sugar raid Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> also true. Yeah. So we have this whole goofy montage, but then she's like, she's trying to learn how to walk like a man. Yeah. So it's like she's out in the world and she's following around people. And I'm like, Amanda, baby, you're killing it. And then she goes behind this black dude. Do you know? Did you see this? No. She does this overemphasized lean, grabs her crotch, and is like, yo, what's up? I'm black. And then the guy turns around and notices, Amanda, you just you you would get your ass beat in that moment. (laughs) That is so overtly, blatantly racist in public what you are doing. Oh my God. No, I can't believe I missed that. And the problem was they just went to like the worst stereotypes of like men could be like. Like haka and it was yeah. like n- I don't know. I guess they do that, but why are we? Why are we putting? And it goes back to what you said. Like this version of masculinity had to be like the most. Yeah, of all the versions of masculinity. Yeah. and I feel like they were. They were, of course they were exaggerating for the comedy mm. angle, but like it just we we're if this was written by a woman, we're not this. Yeah, was it? I I I, uh, you know? I doubt it. I feel I, I God, God I, I there's I hope no not. way. It was. I if that's how we seem, then no. I apologize. I mean, I'm okay with Euphoria the level is of- not doing much better for men. <laughs> I mean, I think that that's just Nate's issue, yeah. not so much like men as a whole. Stop talking about Euphoria. Stay on this movie. Right, 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 right. It just seeps into our um, everyday life. The, uh, the, the, by- you know what was super? S- speaking of black people, the oh, black guy <laughs> Brandon McLaren. Um, amazing last name. Uh, yeah. I was like, I know this guy. I've seen this him the, before. The, the black friend in like the Channing Tatum's friend. He, yeah, Channing Tatum's friend uh, with the dreads. I was like, I know I've seen him before. And then I remember where I know him from and I got really depressed. Uh, I know him from Power Rangers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, which, like, which Power Rangers? SPD. What's that? That's the one with the cops, where they're cops. I think. Wait, the Power Rangers are cops. <laughs> they're like they're like cop Power Rangers. It's really weird. What era of our life was this? Um, I were too you an, old for me to be you were an adult man this first in, watching the Power Rangers become it, cops? Yeah. What does that mean that the Power Rangers are cops? I, they just seem like police officers, bro. <laughs> I don't know. He one of them rode a bike that looked like a cop bike. Did they pull people over? Did uh, they break up I'm gonna, parties I'm gonna, that were too loud? I'm gonna loud? look it up for you, and I'm gonna show Fun you. Fun fact: My room, college roommate was. A Power Ranger. Really? Yep. Also, he was why? Yellow Power Ranger. That's sick. Wait, Very I thought cool. Yellow's always a girl. Um, maybe. Mm, I'll look it up. Let's see what color he was. Also, that's fucking. Shout out to John. Yeah, dope. look at this cop ass bike. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the plot is not them actually being cops. No, you just felt it's, like it's they just. Were I cops. just felt like. I mean, he's got like a fucking cop badge, and it's like Space Patrol Delta is what's on the thing, and like the logo is red and blue. <laughs> He's got like little things. He was Mega Force. Who is that? That's oh. my college roommate. Oh my god, John Loudermilk. I f- way Blue to go. Power what Ranger. a name. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm looking too much into this movie, but I also feel like Amanda as a man, her impressions was this era of like early 2000s. <sighs> it was all this like coded like. Black vernacular is hyper masculine, and so she's right. like, "What's up?" My- oh, wait, I fucking wrote down something that's like, uh, uh, <laughs> hey, "The way that you I cut that off it, made me think I, that my heart just she sank." Asked, I was like, just like <laughs> "No, what's up? no, no, what no, no. What's, what's up? What? Uh, what, what? She was like, "Holla at your boy. I'm here for you, bro. Okay, for show, for show." Also, like, what bothered me deeply was the amount of accents she did as a man it was <laughs> yeah. country at some point it was like southern it was it felt like um like surf bro culture at one point and i was like pick was that a character choice or what the fuck was that amanda yeah she's better than that she's a character actor i do think that amanda Bynes, in general is responsible for this era of precocious children that we had and where children thought that they could have witty responses mm. to parents 
And anytime I see that in a movie, I fucking hate it. And I feel like every 10 year old who comes home after watching a movie is like, I can talk witty too. Yeah. I once told my TV productions teacher after he yelled at me in front of the class to take it, take the tampon out of his ass. And wow. <laughs> oh, God. I got in a lot of trouble. I was very young. But that's the only time I remember being like, someone was going to fucking hit me <laughs> the way I spoke to them as a child. Yeah. I got a question. How did the brother know? So the, so the, the way this all gets spoiled, right? Yeah. Is that her brother decides to come home. Oh my God. Early Fairly. from London. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. So the, the brother's off in London chasing his rock and roll dreams. Amanda goes, perfect. I'm going to be you. For only a couple weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Play and soccer then, and win the world. D then play the first game and then I'm done. But he comes home early, gets kissed by one of the girls Olivia. that he's never met that thinks it's Amanda. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to like this place. And she's like, see you at the soccer game tomorrow. And he's like, I guess I'm going to the soccer game tomorrow. So he shows up and then is on the team. Like he's just in uniform playing soccer. And plays a game and is terrible. But you are yeah. totally like... Yes, you got kissed by a girl, and then you, with no questions asked, go, I'm on the soccer team yeah, now. Yeah, that, that was a big old missing plot point that made no sense that he just showed up. And I was, thought he was a soccer player. I thought that that's... No, he was terrible. I, yeah, he was oh. a bad soccer player. <laughs> I'm sorry. Which I thought he got into that boarding school because he was a good soccer player. He was a good soccer player. player. That's what I thought. Was that a thing? He got on... You're right. But then Wait, why was he a bad soccer player? Then why was he player? so bad? Because he says, sorry, I'm not that good at soccer. Yeah. And you're like, What? Someone in the comments. Wait, you're correct. right. Yeah, please help us. Please oh, help us. I'm now very confused. Because maybe he was a soccer player, but he wasn't as good as first string. Third string chump. I don't know. <laughs> you bench rider, bitch. And uh, then like they I switch places during halftime and then they do the big reveal. And then there's also this other student who's like on to them the whole time that's trying to out them, which I was like, what's his fucking character? We didn't know. Uh, Tattletoe. Easy. Ah. Yeah, as soon as he was introduced, I was like, oh, he's going to try to... He loves bitch. Olivia, too. It's just a messy love. Yeah. It's all... It's all really love, baby. Goes. Well, you have a burning question. So does our audience. Ooh. I know that you guys love this movie. I wanted you to be part of the conversation. Hell yeah. So I went on, uh, and I'm telling you, the first question I got from Sheen Rochelle, what's your favorite cheese? Mine's Gouda. So many Gouda questions. What is your favorite cheese? Mozzarella. Easy. A classic. Yeah. Is yeah. Gouda considered a, a good cheese? No. Yeah. It's like very a top sharp. cheese? It's very sharp and like Isn't it bitter. melty? No. It it does, but it's still, it still has a, a bit of the moldiness that is a, uh, attached to cheese in general because it is expired milk. My favorite yeah. is Humboldt Fog. A little shout out to our friend uh, Shane Midday. Oh. Hello, podcast buddy. He was... Oh, you you one of those me. charcuterie girls. I oh, you fancy. You, you put fancy. your meats and cheese on on, oh, on okay. wood. On Listen, a little my wood, charcuterie a little is tight. Okay, okay, it's high and tight. Okay, okay. So Monte Go wants to know: Could we pull off the twin gender swap? Could we go undercover Us as our personally? Yeah, as your th <laughs> if you had a twin, do you think you could pull oh, it off? Fuck yeah! Oh god, I'm the most dramatic. Um, attention yeah, so seeking person you, of all time. It, yes, clear answer. Well, let's yes. hear your let's hear your Sebastian. Well, first of all, have you seen me with short hair? I look amazing. My <laughs> yeah, but, voice so, is pretty deep, but that means naturally. you're too you're too feminine beauty. You already have short hair. Yeah, yeah, so there's no problem. Well, I, that means we wouldn't think we would. You have short hair the, now, the and I don't think be, who's that man? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, but no. What I'm saying is, I think I could very easily slide into the role of playing if I had a twin brother. Okay, no let's problem. Hear it. Do your Sebastian. I mean, it would it would literally sound like this. You sound like a you woman. Like a, <laughs> a boy? Like a woman. No, you sound oh. like a woman. So you want me to go deeper? So if I maybe go like <laughs> this. Why are you laughing, Miles? Miles, why are you Is that laughing? what you think men sound like? This is what men sound like. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, that's what you sound like. No, Give me like no, a, no, a cool, not like, at all. not at all. <laughs> Stop. 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 All right, let's do a little role play. All what's, right, let's do a role play. What's up, bro? What's, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like. That's, that's what, what it sounds, sounds like. like. Yeah. What about you fucking guys? No, you be a girl. No, no. You so confidently said that you could play a man. <laughs> I still am confident. I think I'm crushing it. I would get a lot I of pussy. Keep it up. I know. Keep it up. I'd be very good with the ladies. Tell me, tell me as a man. As a man. As a man. No, as a man. 
as a man, <laughs> the you, first thing you got to do. You would crush the puss? Yeah. But see, I'd be real silent, like silent strong type, you know? like I'd See, like that's already... You just spread her legs. Yeah. The si Look out, you're sitting! I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not sitting like that. My that legs are very gross. All propped I'm, up on the chair. I, not only do I manspread, I like prop my leg up <laughs> yeah. on a different I table. See, you gotta <laughs> aerate position. those bad boys, bro. Yeah. Every now and again. I just need, a, need relief on the lower back. Is I really need well. to aerate oh, okay. my bad boy. My, my, you you know, I think everyone needs to aerate. Yeah, aerate every now All and right. again. But there's definitely an energy. There's like a switch. Like so, so in I take up a lot of space. Okay, I'd be real tall. That that looks very manly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. up? Good. What's yeah, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? So what's in, up? I want to say sixth oh, or seventh grade, uh, for Halloween, I thought it'd be fun to dress up as a woman. Hmm. I thought it'd be cool. Probably mm -hmm. was fun. So I got like a an old dress from my sister and I got a bra from my mom yeah. and I stuffed it. Yeah. And I I think I had a wig. I must have had a wig. And I don't know if I did makeup because kids don't do makeup. But I did that and I, I was part of an acting class. Mm. So I got there early and I was just sitting there. Oh, and here's the other thing. I took my glasses off. <gasps> so it's like... Who's, who Crazy. even am I without that? But I didn't have context at this time. So, so you I'm, just walk around blind. So I'm sitting in this room. I get there early as as a young woman, mid pubescent woman, <laughs> can't see anything. And people come in and they don't <gasps> know who I am. And so I don't say anything. No. And then like it keeps going. And then I'm like, I guess I'll say that I'm <laughs> I, I just say that I'm Zach's cousin and they believe me. Oh, and then. Uh. I'm crushed because <laughs> now no. I'm like, oh no, you I'm always looked like a middle-aged lesbian to me. I, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh no, I'm too convincing as a woman. Yeah. Does that mean You're that I man. am not a man? Oh. I am not masculine. Not at all. And it took that me, just means you know, you got a pretty face. I, look, I've gotten yeah. there. I've come to ter terms with it. But in seventh grade, it was a little scary for me. But yeah. you could do when, it then. Not so much now. You don't think? Oh, I no. I think when, I could fucking crush it. <laughs> when everybody I, was doing the uh, the gender face swaps, uh, I was like looking. I was like, man, some of my bros are kind of bad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, God damn. What are they? Like, I mean, this what? is. Is actually kind of nice. So yeah. to that effect, yeah, you are a, a good-looking person, and that's why they could Aww. not. Damn right, I got some delicate ass features. I love yeah, men who features. aren't afraid to compliment other men. Oh, I'm a very fuckable woman. <laughs> <laughs> I am hot. Yeah. No, I just um, uh, yeah, I, I got them delicate features, and then so later in life in in BuzzFeed we did this this celebrity makeup video, and I I did like a Lady Gaga look, mm. and I remember being like, wow, I'm like really fucking pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and then all the comments were, and this is like early BuzzFeed, I hadn't done anything yet, and then the comments were like, wow, Zach's so pretty. I'm like, you know what? I, I am, am pretty. pretty. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Damn right. See so, how we've changed. It, we've, our society's gone through the most big, yeah. like biggest transformations as people. I feel like. So what I'm saying is that I am the man. No pun intended. Oh, nice. On that. I'm the man. What about Rick? Could you be a hot girl? No. Have you done the filters? Uh, I have not. I got it. I got it. Honestly, see with it. your What's brows, up? yeah, you would be like, fucking very high. I'd be like features. very thick, but like your my, smile, my fucking this and your shit. dimples. I uh, so Bitch. Rick would be thick. Rick would be <laughs> thick. thick he would, I just look at my. I just look like my. We gotta sister. find one of those. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know what your sister looks like. She's very pretty. Okay. Mm. I think Shout I'm, out to Rick's sister. I'm gonna say this on record. I think that I'm prettier than my sister. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Suck it, Steffi. Wow. Do you ever get a glimpse of yourself in the rear view? Yeah, iPhone camera like, and you're just like fucking uh, what the fuck uh, <laughs> you guys talk to me yeah. <laughs> I look this way we've got a step up connection so Channing Statham of course the star of step up oh but the man who plays uh Amanda Bynes ex in this movie whose name I forget I'm so sorry Justin he's the star of step up to the street no oh, shit. Oh, uh. I feel like the fact that we haven't done a step up movie yet for this podcast yeah. is kind if of. If we do do a step up movie, we got to do the one with the small guy that's like that dances his ass off in the rain. Moose. Moose. How do you know these fucking things? Moose. You know he was killing that my that name shit. is in the credits in 3D of Step Up 3D. Why? Wow. I was a PA on that movie. Wow. 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 Summer job. You have any fun fun tidbits? I bet, no, we're sticking to She's the oh, Man. Okay. <laughs> We've talked about everything but She's the Man this episode. I'm sorry, uh, guys. 
The producers for the role of the real Sebastian, uh -huh. the real Sebastian, the brother, they originally wanted Jesse McCartney because oh. McCartney's facial features were similar to that of Amanda Bynes. That's true. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want, want the amount of times I watched that music video. Oh my God. Uh, I will say you know that Amanda else? Bynes stated that she had a tiny crush on Channing Tatum during filming. And so if she knows that he's, if you think you have better judgment than Amanda Bynes, you're wrong. Yeah, that's true. Channing Tatum. That's true. That's fucked up. No, you're right. You and Jenna that. Dewan, like you really can't beat those bitches at point. Wasn't he also dating Zoe Kravitz briefly? <gasps> Who? Yeah. Th is this the thing? Yeah, he, sha he shaved his head and fucking was riding on around on a motorcycle with Zoe Kravitz. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did you hear the, the growl in your face? Yeah. Like, well, I just stop imagine smiling being on, like that. Have y'all ever been on the back of a motorcycle with any man? Uh, oh. no. You will orgasm. <laughs> a motorcycle vibrates when you drive it. Fun fact. When holding auditions for the role of Duke, the role that won Shane Tatum, Amanda Bynes fought with the producers. She fought for Channing Tatum, who at the time had never had a leading role. He was largely unknown in the Hollywood. Oh, they fought. And they were concerned that he was older than the co-stars. Tatum credits Amanda Bynes with oh. helping launch his oh my career. God. Amanda, wow. please, you fucking sweetheart. I wow. wonder if he's because like tried to stay in touch with her. I'm sure they did. Amanda, they Amanda, 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 Amanda. I think that show. I, mean show. Um, I think that. That is a testament to the, their on-screen chemistry mm -hmm. more than anything because when you do those chemistry reads, it's pretty much on the lead actress yeah. where they're just like, all right, who do I have the best vibe right. with? Right, like and who then do you want? Yeah, they'll try to throw like a famous person or uh -huh. blah, 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 and then they can actually make that decision that at the end you? of the day. No. You, you guys made you out and they were your, like, yeah, let's do it. You nailed your screen test. I uh, remember that day. I, uh, I fucked up the first one and then I got the second one. Yeah. yeah. Did that chemistry. But Amanda Bynes has done so much for comedy. Yeah. I mean, all that, the Amanda show and the gift that is Channing Tatum. Wow. Thank you, Amanda. We don't, we don't recognize that enough. I you know what, Amanda? You are the man. Yeah. Yeah. You Fucking are. A. The woman. Uh, we got to decide, is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, mm. or oh, just shit. plain guilty? And what's wild, Kelsey, is that I, this is the first time you saw it. So yeah. you're coming in. You're coming in fresh. You're coming in hot. Yeah. I mean, I'll go first. This movie is decidedly 2000s. Um, mm -hmm. so, so that's where you're going to get that guiltiness from, right? Like, yeah. it's campy. Mm -hmm. It's corny. Mm -hmm. It's over the top. Mm -hmm. But it hits all the notes. Yeah. It does everything you want it to do. Yeah. So for the people, for the people who I know that this means something to, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's a pleasure. It's obviously mm. not high art. It ain't high art. Right. It's oh. of the time. If we were to go back and in, into the 2000s and I were to look at this Rotten Tomato score and see that it was sitting like in like the 40s. 46, yeah. I'd be pretty upset yeah. because it's about as good as everything else that was coming out yeah. around that time. And it just yeah. feels good to watch, right? It's funny. Yes. It's silly. It's light. I fucking, I for one love a movie that has no consequences. Mm. You get to the climax and she just admits everything and they go, let's finish the game. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. That's, sometimes it's nice. It feels mm. like, uh, like fucking oatmeal Ooh. for the yeah. soul. I it's like sure. Chicken yeah. soup for the soul. Yeah. Go, you remember those books? Oh those my God. fucking scarred me as a child. <laughs> it's like trauma. Do you guys remember Chicken Soup for the Soul? Yeah, you I would were read Jewish, that. So I don't know if they made you read No, those. it's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. I, Chicken Soup for the Soul is uh, not for the Jews. No. Mm. We they, had masa ball soup for the soul. Ah, uh, great. During church times, I remember. Yeah. Is it religious? It's like Veggie Tales? I think it's, it's like it's Christian. I based. Believe. Gross. I just remember it was a, a girl named Kelsey got her hair stuck in the drain in the jacuzzi and she drowned. And what? I just remember being That's like, what that fucking book's about? Have you never oh. read Chicken Soup for the Soul? I thought it was about soothing your soul. It's about a girl drowning in a hot tub? There, It's all different stories of yeah. like trauma <laughs> and people overcoming it and grief. Do you, what? Miles, do you know what we're talking about? I thought it was like light, frothy. I never read it. No, I just assumed no, no, it was like, no, no. oh, read this and you're going to feel nice. Oh, no. It's like, here's the hardest fucking thing anyone went through. And here's the How lessons got we learned. It. That's yeah. not oh chicken God. soup. That's the antithesis no, of chicken like soup. No, that's like spicy chili. Yeah, yeah. that's like ch Ugh. spicy chili for the butthole. And I think it was, <laughs> I, I feel like I remember it being like, and God helped me. Through. Like, I remember mm. a lot of like religious undertones of it. Ew. Being, yeah. 
Anyway, that's my deepest trauma. Um, I'm going to give, as a 31-year-old woman who watched <laughs> this movie today for the first time, I'm going to go with guilty pleasure because so. it definitely gave me that energy of like, like I said, the first five minutes just seeing them dance around like hot, sexy, like naked 20-something-year-old bodies. I was like giddy and right back in that teenage mindset again and I was so excited and horny all of a sudden to watch this. You know what? I'm remembering all the open mouth kissing and I'm going to go back. I'm going to say, say good pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking horny. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. It, it was a it was a good I enjoyed it but I'd put it on again when I next time I'm sick. Right. That's how I know it's a good Now pleasure. this is some chicken soup for the soul. <laughs> oh God. Not that traumatic bullshit. No. Um, for sure a guilty pleasure mm. just because uh, it, again in the 2000s it's very campy it doesn't deserve a 46. It should be in the mid 60s mm. at the very like most. The weather right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just a nice thing to watch. Final question for me: uh, Them wearing face paint for the final soccer game was in. that cool or corny as hell? It was corny. Cool. Okay. So I thought it was corny. Split I decision. wish we were allowed to wear face paint during <laughs> soccer games. We weren't allowed. Jane Tatum looked bad though. Mm. Yeah. He looked fucking good. Yeah. Uh, well, that has been. She's the man. Let us know what you think. We know that you guys love this movie and have lots of opinions, so we'll be sure to engage when this comes out. <laughs> Why was that funny? I don't know. I'm at Corn Day on all the things. I'm at Kelsey Darrow on all the things. I'm Gary Bernard on all the things. And until next time, I see you for what you really are, which is ugly. ugly.